In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a fast and responsive Instagram widget on your WordPress website in a few easy steps. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. Once purchased, you can find your license key and download link for the plugin. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. Hover over plugins on the left hand side and click on Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro like this and click on install now. Then go ahead and activate the plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can go and create our Instagram Feed widget, we first have to activate our license key. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it like this and click on settings. Then beside license key, we can paste the license key from our Smash Balloon account like this and click activate. And as you can see, our license key for Instagram Feed Pro is now active. So we can now go and create our Instagram widget. On the left hand side, once again, under Instagram Feed, click on all feeds. Then to get started, click on add new at the top. And for the first step, we'll have to select from one of these feed types. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, we're going to go ahead with user timeline that's already selected for us. So we can go and click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Go and click on add source. And first you have to specify if your account is a personal or business account. Our account is a business one, so we're going to select that like this. And then it's asking us if we've connected Smash Balloon to our Facebook account before. I'm going to click no, and now we can click on connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you can see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook account. Go ahead and select the Instagram account you want to add to your feed like this and click on next. Then we'll also have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account. You go ahead and select it like this once again and click on next. And lastly, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but we won't be allowed to make any changes or post on our behalf. So it's completely safe. Go and click on done and then click on OK. Now you'll get a security prompt asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Go ahead and click on yes, it's my domain. And back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you should now see that Instagram account added here. Select it and click on add. Now we can add it as a source like this and click on next. With Instagram Feed Pro, you also get several different templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. You have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and more below. For this tutorial, let's go ahead with the default one. It's already selected for us, so we can go and click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram widget. We can see all the latest posts from our Instagram account displayed beautifully in this grid layout. Our feed is now ready to be embedded on our WordPress webpage, but before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you'll find options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which shows all of your posts in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through your Instagram posts like this. After that, we have the Mainstream layout, which is another rows and columns layout, but this time all the posts are displayed in their original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which allows you to highlight one specific post at the top of your feed. Proceeding with the grid layout, if you look down below, you can specify how many posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is specify the number of posts you want to display like this. And instantly, you can see that change made inside the live preview as well. And lastly, at the bottom, you can specify how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. If you've made any changes to the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, go and click on color scheme. As you can see currently, we're inheriting all of the colors from our WordPress theme. This means that your Instagram feed automatically matches the design of your website. Next, we have a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can specify the exact colors you want for your Instagram feed like this. Once you're happy with your color scheme, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that we've learned how to create and customize our Instagram widget, Let's go and embed it onto our live web page. To do this, go into embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and then click on add to a page. Select the page you want to add your Instagram widget to, and then click on add. On your web page, you have two different options to embed your Instagram feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode you copied like this, or you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block for block editor like this. And straight away, you can see a live preview of your brand new Instagram widget right inside your web page. Now we can go click on update and check out what it looks like on your live web page. And here we are on a live website. You can see our beautiful new Instagram feed right in the middle of our page. And if a website visitor wanted to check out one of these posts, all they'd have to do is click on it like this. And that post will open up in this beautiful light box view. Next, if you scroll down below, you can also load even more posts directly on your web page, just like this. Now that we know how to embed your Instagram posts inside your web page, let me show you how we can embed it onto the sidebar or footer of your website. Back inside Instagram Feed Pro, we have a new Instagram feed created in a different layout. And to embed this, all we have to do is go click on Embed, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on Add to a Page, go and click on Add to a Widget instead. 
This brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. In this tutorial, let's add our Instagram widget to the footer of our website. So let's open up our footer widget here. And you have the same two options to embed your Instagram feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode you copied, or you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And you can see a live preview for your Instagram feed straight away inside the footer. Let's go click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And back on our live web page, you can see that Instagram widget we created earlier in the grid layout. And if I scroll down below, inside our footer, we also have a brand new Instagram feed directly inside the footer as a widget. And similar to the feed we created before, a website visitor can click on any of these images on your feed to view it directly on your WordPress website. So you now know how to create an Instagram widget for both your web page and for the footer as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.